The following review video is a owner review, my personal thoughts on the bike. G'day guys, how you going? It's Laz here and in this review of the 2012 DRZ400E, you're going to see some of the footage of the bike in action, jumping, doing some track work, a little bit of adventure riding, whilst I talk over it and uh, give you some topics of most commonly asked questions and my personal thoughts on the bike thus far. I do hope you enjoy the video. ProTaper CR high rise handlebars, Ego Bark Busters, aftermarket Halo H4, Polysport headlight, removal of the rear tail light, and removal of all four restrictors. Okay, guys, here in this footage and the upcoming footage, you're going to see the DRZ 400E is a very versatile and capable bike of many things. Now, normally I wouldn't go off and start riding tracks like this, as you can see here, the suspension is very soft and I wouldn't recommend it on the DRZ400. Besides, you probably wouldn't want to buy this to go to the track and race because the suspension is that soft, you'd need to change it all out and it would cost you a fair bit. That extra money, you could probably buy the bike that you need for the track. However, the purpose of me showing you this was just to show you that the bike is versatile. It is capable of doing this kind of stuff, but not recommended. It is definitely not a motocross bike in any way. However, it does handle it quite well. You'd probably want, if you're going to hit out bigger jumps, uh, like you'll see a little bit later on, I hit a bigger jump, you probably want to change your uh, forks, compression and everything like that to just get a little bit harder. You don't want it too soft because I did find that the front and the back bottomed out on me on that jump. However, that's not what I bought the bike for. I bought the DRZ400E for adventure riding and thus far guys it hasn't disappointed me. I did however have to change a few things to get it up to uh, at least a comfortable kind of standard for myself. Uh, the handlebars for one were too low, they need to go and uh, needed risers for those. Still need bigger risers because they're still hunched over. However, apart from that, the suspension, if you're doing adventure riding like I'm doing here, going river crossings, creek crossings and doing all that kind of stuff, the suspension is quite fine. You may need to tweak it to your weight maybe a little bit more, but apart from that, you can go on a four or five hour ride and come back and just feel like it was walking apart. No dramas whatsoever. This bike is pretty much ready to go out of the crate, but like I said, you would want to remove the restrictor straight away as it does, does hinder performance a little bit. However, guys, apart from that, I really don't have anything bad to say about the bike. I'm really enjoying it so far, and if, if you were to ask me, should I buy it, I would definitely recommend it. For the price you pay and the bike you get, it's unbeatable. It's a great price. Awesome. And if you want to check out a real adventure bike, go and check out the Black Widow. The link will be in the description below. Thanks very much, guys. I hope this review was good enough for you. Um, if there's any other questions, let me know. Cheers.